I am back with another Madden 15 offensive scheme. This time it is out of Kansas City's offense. Formation we'll be looking at is the tray open out of the shotgun. Now, the first play we're going to be looking at is the fake screen. Now, I put Jimmy Graham on the field because I just want that extra man and I'd like two speedy guys at my outside receiver spots. Like Kenny Stills and um, fake wide receiver screen. I'm sorry. Like Kenny Stills and Brandon Cooks at the B and X receivers. Instead, I just put Colston there. But with this play, two adjustments you're going to make. Put X on a drag, put B on a drag. And that's about it. Now, the X receiver, he beats his man every single time. As you can see, the separation that he gets against Johnson, I think that is. The separation he gets against Johnson on that inside C route allows him to get the inside positioning and you don't even have to pass the you just bullet him the ball because then your opponent has to worry about excuse me your opponent has to worry about coming down on those two crossing routes now it's not only just the a route that's really dominant in this formation it's the 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 picks that's being set on these two drags because the B receiver sets a pick. Well, when he's playing man-to-man -man defense, the B receiver sets a pick for the X receiver and the X receiver sets, sets a pick for the B receiver. And once they get that separation, they're open and you can just pass it to them and get a good at least three to six yard gain. You see the A receiver, Jimmy Graham being wide open. And I like to put one of my best route running and biggest receivers there maybe a tight end for instance to Jimmy Graham now the other thing is the wheel route that gets open against man as well but it depends on what kind of cut he decides to make um, it also gets open against zone as well I'll show you that too but it depends on the cut that he makes which will determine if he beats his man or not and if he does beat his man your best off pass leading to the outside and not the inside well I said will get picked off and here you can see him being open against um, zone now, one of the things that I like to do out of this formation is put the running back on a wheel and motion him back and forth. And I'm going to show you why because of the wide receiver screen. But I like to motion him back and forth. And when I'm not in the wide receiver screen, I like for him to be on the wheel route going to the left side instead of the right side. But that doesn't mean that you have to do that every single time. He can be blocking as well. And you can have that extra blocker just in case someone is blitzing. And then you have RB wide open for the automatic touchdown with zero coverage. Now, I'm going to show you here in the replay what I mean when I say the kind of cut he decides to make. He made that, say he made that cut, he, he made the strong cut to where he got that separation that he needed on Chancellor. And now... We, if we were sitting at the 20 and they had no safety help, basically we have an automatic touchdown right there. And even if they do have safety help and we just pass the lead to the outside, then we're straight. We can just get a good 20, maybe a good 15 yards off of that play. And in the zone, we have the X receiver wide open on the drag. And we're attacking different areas of the field within this offense. Now, within that play, now the next play we're going to look at is the wide receiver screen, which I just talked about not too long ago. Now the only adjustment you're gonna, well the only two adjustments you're gonna be making is streaking Colston and you're gonna wield the running back. You're gonna motion the running back over to the right. As soon as he sets both his feet down is when you hike the ball. Once he sets both his feet down, then he gets that speed burst. But if you hike the ball while he's still in the middle of, how do I say this? While he's still running basically, before he's set, he will stop and it'll mess it up and he won't be on a route and you'll be looking for him to be on that wheel route for that screen but he won't be on it now i like to run this play at least six seven times a game i like to have my running back to have between six to ten catches within my offense i like to get him involved um that the next play we're going to look at is the strong flood which has a running back kind of like on a texas route almost but only it's circular this time uh, what we're going to do is drag the A receiver, which is Graham, and we're going to in route Colston. Now the RB, no, not RB, but now the RB receiver, he's going to be his man on that stock out route almost every time, unless they shade it in there, unless they press and they've shaded. Other than that, he's going to beat his man to man. Now that motion in route is going to be his man to man as well, and this time we're just 
motioning the receive motioning the B receiver over to the left instead of motioning the running back because we when we don't motion the running back we're motioning the B receiver when we motion the running back we're not motioning the B receiver obviously but when we motion him when we motion that B receiver what that does is he gets that separation on that M route that we will need now that X route on the left side kind of like the the Philly out I mean the Philly in route if it's a man to man that if it's a DB that has great man-to-man -man coverage, he's not going to beat him every single time. And there, Jimmy Graham's open for the wide open drag. But if it's a zone, it kills zone, and not to mention it's also unbumpable. So if you're playing a DB that's terrible at man-to-man -man coverage, he's going to beat him every time. And there, the Texas route, all you do is pass lead, pass lead bullet to the outside, which is left on the D-pad. Catches it every time as long as he has good catching. There you again, there you can see again he's wide open. Man to man doesn't stop it. Your opponent has to literally your opponent has to play this route. But then not only does he have to play this route, he'll be worried about that um that C route cut into the middle of the field that he has to manually guard. It'll always be something in this office that your opponent has to that your opponent has to look out for, excuse me. Now there's never now, as you can see, X being wide open, there's never really a specific time or specific place when you decide that. But there's never uh, <laughs> there's never a specific time when you should motion the running back to the right and back to the left and to the right and over again. It's just when you choose to do that. Now, I like to do it before. I want to say I do it before I motion the receiver. That's like one of the first things that I do. I motion the running back first, and then I'll start to motion the receiver, and then I'll motion the running back again, only this time I'll hit him with the screen instead of that passing, instead of that um, fake wide receiver screen. Now here is the quick base. Which is one of the best runs, which is which is a, not one of the best runs, but a really good run because you have Colson coming over in between the line of scrimmage, then you have the pulling guard going with you as well so you can get a good five to seven yards off of this every carry almost every carry but with this being basically a, a pass heavy offense your opponent's going to be more focused on stopping the pass game than they are the run game and we also have the inside zone in this offense as well only problem is we have the hp draw as our stocked audible but all in all we're attacking every area of the field and which is what you want in an offense this is a five place game three of them being passing plays and all of them attack different areas we got out routes we got motion in routes we have drags we have crossing routes then we have that c route cut into the middle of the field that has to be manually guarded and it's not easy to stop i will have i will be bringing you guys a gameplay shortly of me using this offense and just like with every scheme there will always be a video to go along with that scheme or a gameplay to go with that scheme but this gameplay or well, the scheme is coming to an end i hope it helped you out i hope you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will be bringing you more tips schemes and gameplays as soon as i can